Oh, wow. Well, hello there. That was a very intense opening compared to what I was ready for. Like it said, like it said just now, welcome to Live Alive. This is the first time I'm recording a video in like a month, so I apologize if I'm a, a little out of my element. But I'm very excited for this game. I got it a while back, um, around when I started Octopath. Uh, get that. Around when I started the Octopath Let's Play before, and this game looks a lot like it, which is why I got it. I don't know much about it other than it looking very similar to Octopath. Like, graphically, you know, you see. I think there's a bit of time travel or something, like, by that intro there. Like, sort of like a futuristic thing, like modern, stuff like that. Regardless, Let's just get into the game and see what it's about. We'll see how accurate my intuition is. I, I, oh, I choose. Is this like Octopath where it doesn't really matter? I mean, I don't get to see their description or the plot or anything. No? I just have to pick a time period, I suppose? I kind of like this cowboy guy. Oh, there we go. The American Frontier is a, space of, is a place of foolish dreams and dashed hopes. Tired soul rides into a dying town terrorized by outlaws. Success, they call it, though not to look at it now. None can imagine why. And, okay, another one. Against a gang of villains, a lone gunslinger stands no chance, but perhaps by working together with the locals to prepare traps before the crazy bunch arrives. That's the, the name of a group? Okay. Very creative name. One man may yet make a difference. Okay, so let's just read through all of these, then. One day soon, but not yet, a rebellious youth lives a hard life, getting into trouble and picking fights because he knows what others are thinking. A rough routine, but one to which he has grown accustomed. However, his power eventually leads him to become involved in a dark conspiracy, which can only be stopped through the resurrection of an ancient robot king, the Steel Titan. Well, that's... Okay, then. That one's interesting. Let's see how the other ones are. Far from Earth in the vast void of space, the s transport freighter Cogito Ergo Sum Cogito Ergo Sum slowly makes its way home. Aboard this tiny vessel, a new form of life is born. Alas, as a series of incidents put the safety and well-being of the ship's crew in jeopardy, the autonomous support unit, but recently built by the engineer Kato. Kato? Kato? Yeah, Kato. It must work together with its creators to ensure all is not lost. It is an age of strife and bloodshed which threatens to consume an entire nation. In the shadows cast by the fires of chaos, a shinobi is given the mission of paramount importance. To a castle filled with deadly traps and wary enemies, he must venture that he that he must venture that he might free a prisoner of singular talents. Yet, will I can read? I promise. Yet, will the shinobi carry out his task with a merciful heart, or will he put his enemy to the sword? Put every enemy. Put his every enemy to the sword. I promise you, I can read. Yeah, three more. Imperial China. 
An old Chinese master nearing the end of his life yearns to preserve his kung fu for the future generations. With his with this purpose does he venture forth from his home as hot mount aspiration in search of a worthy successor to his legacy. Once he has gathered three disciples, he will subject them to relentless training to strengthen the body, enhance the reflexes, and unlock true potential. Of these three, who will rise to the occasion and become the next to Shifu? Alright. Present day. To be the world's strongest fighter, the best of the best. A dream shared by many, but one young warrior believes he truly has what it takes to claim the title. By, claim by making the skills of other masters his own, he intends to prove himself. I am very... Uh, Muay Thai, I think. Professional Wrestling, Lucha Re Libre, Kopo, Sambo, and Sumo. The most powerful techniques of these stor story traditions he will learn. All he needs to do is bait his opponents into revealing their secrets. Okay, so these are all, all seem to be very different. Of all of these, I think I'm most interested in either this present day one or the near future. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this guy. Yeah. I'm not gonna question it too hard. I'll be here all day if I do. So tell me. You happy with your lot in life? I think so. Who are you? Glad to hear it. That being said, you could spare a thought for folks who haven't got it good as you, you know? He speaks much faster than the text does. Maybe I can change that in the setting. Not to get too preachy, though I suppose I kind of did. But hear me out. Just a little longer. I'm assuming this is our character, son. No. Oh. No, no! Wake up, Dad! Come on! Please! But he didn't. I got there just in time to see the light leave my father's eyes. Oh, it was him. He was a cop. Riot police. A decorated officer who had been tasked with taking down a notorious biker gang, the Crusaders. I doubt he had any idea I might turn out like this when he left for work that morning. I looked up to him. He was my hero. He sacrificed so much. And then... Okay, everyone. We have some new friends joining us today. I didn't realize Go this would be fully voices. Go on and introduce yourself to the others. Uh, yeah, let's just go with the original name. Yeah. And this is his little sister, Cowdy. Now, I want you all to do everything to make them feel welcome, okay? 
I really need to change the text speed if I can. Yes, miss! What was that, Watanabe? Uh, yes, miss! It's you. It was around the time Cowdy and I were sent to Bright Sparks Orphanage that I first noticed I was... different. That I'd begun to develop some strange powers. I found that I could read people's minds, and even make things move without touching them. It was as easy as pushing a button, and just like that, I could hear their inner thoughts, loud and clear. Yeah, just like that. I can do it too, I guess. So tell me, if you had the power to read people's minds, how would you use it? I'd probably read people's minds with it. As for me, well... The Outsider. We regularly sleep on a bench. Okay. All right. It's kind of tiled. From the radar, we have to go this way. Hello. I don't imagine you're friendly. Akira has the unique power to read the minds of others. Press Y when near people to hear the secrets they would never speak aloud, and learn surprising truths that may offer you valuable insights. Okay. Didn't think I'd meet the quota, but this kid ought to do the trick. So not friendly, probably. Screw you and your quota. I'm not going anywhere with you losers. What did you say to me? Kids? Hi. Goddamn kids? Since when did the Crusaders start snatching kids? Who the hell are you? Who am I? Isn't it obvious? I'm a local businessman! You are. Okay, sure. Okay, uh... Charge gauge will appear above allies and enemies that are readying actions. Once this gauge has been completely filled, they will execute the action. Oh, I didn't read the entire... That's fine. I'll figure it out. Uh... Probably shouldn't have just been moving willy-nilly. I don't think I understand how this goes. Abilities. Attack. Mother's shame. Confuse enemies. Wait, is that just everybody? Basically? That's a very wide alien. Damage low, damage low. Why would you ever use this one aside from this one? They'll probably find out. Probably wants to do this. I was a bit careless before. 
Oh wow, that's a bit more than a little bit. Okay, Mr. Local Businessman, what do you do? Uh, this one seems pretty good. Come on. That was really good. Ow. Uh, kick you. Very nice. Okay. Starting to get it. Let's move up a bit. And attack you. Now we have to get you over here by the corner. Okay. And kick. All right. Who's a badass? I'm a badass. <sighs> Thanks, man. I owe you one. You better watch your back, kid. Those punks have been acting weird lately. More like stupid. Trying to snatch an orphan. No one's gonna pay my ransom. Uh, how's your sis doing? You know about my sis? Kari? She's cool. Do She's... we know you? Uh, my head. Took a hit, huh? Come on, saddle up. I'll give you a lift. Thanks, Matsu. But seriously, we do know him. why do you think those guys came after me? I imagine you know, but you won't tell us for some reason. Can I read your mind? I knew they were involved. I knew it. Disappearing all those folks. This proves it. Interesting. I wonder how much Matsu knows. Is that... We already beat the game? Okay. Let's go. Oh, it's the opening. Okay, I see. This give me a very, like, strong Power Rangers vibes. This is amazing. That was great. I loved every second of that. Stay out of the gang for me. Wait, Matsu. Why not come inside? Say hi yourself. You're already here. Peace. Okay, I guess not. You could have just said no. All right. Hello. 
You're back. I was getting worried. Wait, you're bleeding. Uh, don't tell me. You've been fighting again. They didn't really out. have a choice. It's not a big deal. They've attacked first. It's okay. You coming home covered in blood isn't a big deal? Dear, dear, your shirt's room too. Take it off. Right now. I'm not a little kid. There we go. All done. Oh, it feels like the more laundry I get through, the more laundry there is to do. Okay, then. Let's explore a bit. What's in here? Doesn't look like anything. Okay. How about over here? Hello, person. Been fighting again, have we? What are we going to do with you? Kyrie's finally settled down to sleep, so don't disturb her now, will you? Can I read the mind of a sleeping person? I can. Interesting. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. She just came out of there. Doesn't look like there's anything unless there's just something I'm missing. Hello? Not seen Kenichi in a while. I wonder if everyone knows I can read minds or if that's something I'm keeping secret right now. What are you up to? Get a handle on her thoughts, the rest of the lure. Okay. Do I interact with the TV? I do. It's time for the long awaited National Wrestling Showdown! And boy, do we have a matchup for you today! Sorry for covering half the screen, kids, but. In the red corner! I gotta watch Sour, this. Sour the Menacing! And in the blue corner, Muta the Merciless! The time has finally come to witness these two legends of the ring throw down! Prepare yourselves for the unprecedented, a no holds barred, no round limit fight to the finish. And there's the gong signaling the beginning of this legendary bout. Okay. Hey, Kira, why are you always getting into fights? Don't you realize how much it stresses Taiko out when she mess when she sees you ho come home all messed up? Hey, bro, you. Get your butt kicked? Give me a heads up next time and I'll back you up. Well, one, I didn't get my butt kicked. I kicked their butt. And two, I don't think you could help very much. You're like five, aren't you? Hey, go look around Tycho's room for something to patch me out, would you? Why can't I go get it? Oh my god! Misawa is just so cool! Uh, hey! That's my seat! Wantanabe is taking a sweet time. Perhaps we should check, check him. I can't imagine he's in danger or anything, right? Are you okay? How come I never asked anyone else for help? Where'd she put it? I'll be watching TV, so bring back whatever you find when you find it. Okay. Why can't I do it? I imagine I would. And that's the end of that round! But neither of these two warriors is showing any sign of slowing down. Next up, round two. 
Oh, there he is. Come on, Misawa! Give him the corkscrew elbow! Ow. Not cool, Yuki. He's still hurting. I'm fine. What's this? Whoa, first aid kit. So, who's winning the wrestling then? Hey, that's my VIP ringside seat you're sitting in. Come on, Misawa, give him one more. There was no need for shoving. Okay. <laughs> Are they? You know about Tarukichi, right? The turtle sure. has you caught for her a while back. The turtle? I don't remember seeing a turtle. Oh, here it is. Even if your body dies, your heart won't, will it? I know it won't. Wait a minute. Maybe Doc Tobe can help us out. You know, the old dude who runs the antique shop. Wait here. I'll go and see what he has to say. Okay then. To the sh to him. Are you? Do they chase me? Or... Oh, I guess they do. I guess this is how random encounters work in this game. In some battles, groups of enemies may be led by a leader. By defeating the single foe, you can overpower the remaining foes and force them to retreat. I probably get less XP out of that though, don't I? In the near future chapter, the fleet commander is replaced by teleport in battle. Like fleet, you can use this attempt to escape your enemies, but because you have yet to master it, there's no telling where you'll end up. Where you will end up. Okay, that's interesting. A bit of risk reward, I suppose. Take this. Oh, damn. Ow. Can I... Take this. Do I get XP for that or? Who's a badass? Okay, I guess not. Freak out enemies so they turn around to look for other threats. Yeah, sure. Bet you scare easy. Oh, I just... okay. I wanted to see what happens when you hit them from behind, but... I'm just too powerful, I suppose. Oh, it's here. It's this building. Fair enough. Hello? Anybody home? I don't know what I expected. You really must remember to buy some of those extra durable rolls next time. Cut on my hand again. Well, that's a very good lesson why you don't want to read mines. Oh, if it isn't the orphan boy, pleasure as always. Wash your damn hands! Or not, okay. Oh, the sink's right there. Why is there a sink outside the bathroom? 
That's so weird. So, what brings you here today? Well, you see... What's that you say? Your sister's turtle is dying? Can you well, fix my turtle? You just leave it to me, boy. There's more to old Tobey than broken old clocks and antiques. Let me assure you. I'm a Tsukuba educated professional, after all. And by leveraging their advanced techniques, as well as my personal research into long-forgotten technologies, I will imbue your sister's precious Taroimo with new life. Time is of the essence. We will teleport ourselves to the orphanage using my matter transmitter in the basement. I know what that is, true. Okay. Hello. Uh, I'm gonna read your mind again. I have not learned my lesson from last time. Settle down, I'll have this up and running shortly. Do they know I'm reading their mind? Because you were speaking as if you were speaking in your brain as if you were speaking to me. Feast your eyes, my boy, as I demonstrate the sheer power of science. First, I'll set the coordinates, and then... Do I have to stand on this? Uh, okay. Fair enough. What are you doing? Get down from there immediately! Can I? <laughs> My machine! I didn't break it, did I? I'm sorry. Looks like today is just not my day. You better go on ahead, my boy. Okay, then I hope you get it fixed. I will not pay for damages. I'm back. With zero turtle helping ability. I'm sure everything will work out though. I can read its mind, would that help? So, what did he say? Doc Tobey's on the way. I'm pretty sure he's got a plan. Oh, hello. Hi, everybody! Hello. Sorry I'm late. Troubled with the matter transmitter. Too much quantum, uh, or too little. In any event, I opted for a less scientific means of locomotion. I walked. Tried and true. Now, allow me to examine this alien amphibian and reptile of yours. Great Scott! Little Teroimo is on his last legs! Liquefaction is our only recourse. Fortunately, I came prepared. This machine will serve as a host for his liquefacted essence. Taraimo will live again through the power of science. Are you going to turn the turtle into a bigger turtle? You're turning the turtle into a robot? That was close. Indeed. I'll just affix these electrodes to his body. Be a dear and plug this power cable in. Uh, okay. I'm sure there's a socket here somewhere. Does our turtle need to be plugged in? Ah, there it is. Give me a sec. I don't think that's a good idea. Probably not a good idea. Is, is he okay? This hurdles? Are you good, my guy? 
uh... He's breathing, at least. <laughs> Isn't science marvelous? But, but wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? Maybe, just maybe, the steel titan might also be a suitable. You're gonna turn the turtle into a giant robot? That had its own theme song and everything? Okay, can I read the turtle's mind? Thank you, Cody. Okay. Hey, quit following me. Tower Emo became your new best friend. Alright. Is he like a party member? He is a party member, that's great. We have a robot turtle, okay, as our first party- well, not our first party member, the local businessman was, but this guy's our first official party member. I'm so glad you're alive, Tarokuchi. Gonna read your mind again. Or are you Tarima now? Doc did save your life, so I guess it's okay if he names you after a vegetable. Fair enough. Settle down, children. It's time for your afternoon nap. Okay, I need an afternoon nap. What am I, baby? You look like one. I'm gonna fall. Anything? No? Okay. Come to think of it, didn't I put Watsunabe to work hunting down a certain something? Uh, where would Watsunabe be? In here? No. Probably in here, I would guess. So one of you? I can't tell. You're laying down, sprites. Oh. First try, let's go! You can buy the washroom later. We can discuss our plan there. So, you got something for me? Do I? I can give him a grenade. Uh, let's give the child a grenade. A napalm grenade? Thanks, but no thanks. Okay, um, maybe I'm supposed to give you, sure do. maybe let's not give the child a grenade. Would you like a first aid kit? First aid kit, thanks, but no thanks. Okay, I guess I don't have anything for him. How about by the washroom? That's over here, yeah? There we go, that's the laundry done. Is no one gonna question the giant turtle robot? Guess not. Do I leave? We headed to the washroom right about now. Okay. You see? Is is it one one in here? No. Perhaps in here. This is shiny. What's this? A shampoo hat. Is that armor? It is. Gives me an entire one defense. It's better than nothing. This is also shiny. What's this? The Matron's Crochet. Alright, what does that do? Is it better than this? No. However, could I give it to you? Your special attack is cut in half, but you get a little bit more defense. I probably shouldn't have that. 
It's fine. That is the washroom, right? <sighs> oh, that's what you're supposed to say. I was this close to being busted. But don't worry, I got it. Tycho's dirty little secret. A wad of Wantanabe's pocket lint. I said pocket money, not pocket lint. Get back in there and try again. No need to be a jerk about it. That was strange. Are we taking people's money through the means of a child? We headed to the washroom right about now. Okay. Do I just go here again? Got something for you. Right. Better get going. Hey, what are you two doing in there? Let me guess, you're making him do your dirty work again. Am I right? That this is a washroom. Honestly, grow up! Ow. What's this? Tycho's furious fist. Okay. What was that stuff you gave me? Oh wow, that's much better. Alright. Can I give him my old thing? No, okay. They use different weapons, that's fair. Let's see what's outside now. Hello. It's nothing like the sense of fresh laundry on a nice sunny day. Is that what you really think? Get some Kenichi in a while. Alright. Oh, this is shiny. You should probably want to act interact with all the shiny stuff. What's Adambe's badge? Oh, if I give that to him, will I get something for that? I don't know what I would get, but... Sure do. Take... This. Okay, I guess not. I don't know what you're supposed to give him. Regardless, let's leave. Take this. Are we supposed to be this powerful? Getting pretty good at this. Because I feel very over overpowered, you know. Like I'm not even a little threatened by losing. Granted, those are just random encounters, but I have me not one-shotting things. It's very rare. Excuse me? Why is there just a bottomless pit underneath oh, your house? What the hell is that? It's the Steel Titan. Oh, it's just as I thought. The Steel Titan, this ancient robot you see before you, 
was controlled by individuals using psychokinesis. But since no one can effectively harness these powers anymore, our only other option is to rely upon the liquefacted human operator. You want to put like a person's brain into it? Ah, but what is a liquefacted human, you ask? It is one who has transcended their physical form that they might unlock their latent psychokinetic potential. As such, there are only two ways we are going to get the steel titan here moving again. Well, I have psychokinesis, so we could just do Either that. By finding a sufficiently powerful wielder of psychokinesis, an unlikely prospect. Yeah, probably. I or guess. If I'm not good by enough. By infusing the Colossus with the liquefacted essence of a human being. I question the ethics of that, so let's do the first option. If you need someone with superpowers, then I'm your man. What's that, boy? You think you've got what it takes to command it? I can certainly try. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. In that case, I'll be waiting for you upstairs. Hurry now! You just trust me immediately. You don't ask for any kind of proof. I mean, I appreciate it, but I question it a little. Oh, you're over there. It's very hard to see you, I, I must say. <sighs> Temper your expectations. Ready? Good. Now listen carefully. First, you must go and touch my pink elephant. Then, You're after what? that, you must read a passage from that book over there. Next, you must strike my siren and afterwards lay your hands upon the blue mask. I question why you're... These are very strange instructions. Finally, you must return to the basement and offer up a prayer to the Steel Titan. When you've finished, scrub your hands thoroughly, head into the washroom and crouch over the toilet. I excuse me, what? Ready? Good. Now listen carefully. I'm gonna write this down. <laughs> I have to... Okay, give me a second. Okay, so at first I have to. You must go and touch my pink elephant. Pink elephant. Then, after that, you must read a passage from that book over there. Read the book. Okay. Next, you must strike my siren, and afterwards lay your hands upon the blue mask. Okay, blue mask. Finally. You must return to the basement and offer up a prayer to the Steel Titan. Steel Titan. When you've finished, scrub your hands thoroughly, head into the washroom and crouch over the toilet. All right, okay, that's a very strange sequence of instructions. Is this the elephant? Yeah. Touch the okay. elephant. Okay. Okay, elephant. Now read from the book. Okay, then. The xylophone. Okay, then. The blue mask. Which is over here. Okay, then. Now go to the Steel Titan. I wonder why he's making me do this. Is it just like an exercise to see if I follow instructions or... Will this unlock my latent powers? Because I'm pretty powerful already. Oh, Steel Titan, King Robot of all robots. Praise be to your uh, mechanicalness. It's about as good as I would do. 
And now what we have to do is wash our hands and crouch over the toilets. Alright, and we should be done. This is music again. Is it going to activate? Okay. Use those five levers to control it! Come on! Show me what it can do! I kind of expected this thing to be part of the climax of the story, but... Uh, lever, go. Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. We got this. Um. Lever. Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. Did that do anything? Ow. How about. Yeah, let's do this one now. Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. Ow. Am I not examining the right thing? Okay, Steel Titan. Let's roll out. That's different. What am I supposed Use to do? Use those five levers to control it! Come on! Show me what you can do! Use those five levers. Am I supposed to just do it in the right order? Okay, Steel Titan, press roll. Now again. Um. Forgotten place. Bobby. No good, huh? Wow, sorry, ghost. I tried. I'm just not powerful enough, I suppose. If you come across anything interesting, you make sure to bring it straight to me. For I'll do that definitely. Can be found even in the banal and the nonsensical. Doc Toby's item upgrades. You can give Doc Toby items and ask him to improve him. And ask him to improve them. If successful, he will present to you a new item, but his methods are unpredictable and there will be no telling what he will come up with. Nevertheless, you may be pleasantly surprised. Alright. I'm not really sure what's really going on with the story. Kind of seems a bit all over the place.